like it. And then, of course, the, the thing comes, why aren't you like your brother or your sister? Real wrong thing to do. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so, yeah, we got to know. It's a, it's a waste of time. I've got six children who are all the same gender, daughters. So one might think that because they're all girls, you would see certain similarities. They are six of the most different from one another people mm-hmm. you could meet. Um, the confidence that the scripture provides us, in addition to people we've experienced, is that God will help us. Paul says in the scripture, I become all things to all men, so that by all means I can save some. The Spirit gives this man the capability to deal with the artsy one, to deal with the intellectual one, to deal with the, uh, the one who's hands-on, and the one mm-hmm. who's a combination of all those, and so on and so forth. And so this, what we've got to recognize as parents, both natural and spiritual, is that the grace of God, the Spirit of God, will literally teach us how to teach. Teach us how to teach this one, and teach us how to teach that one. And if we understand that we are a ruler, Scripture talks in First Timothy three about ruling your house well. Um, we've learned that that doesn't—that's not a dictatorial statement. It's about you represent a standard. A, 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 a foot-long ruler is always twelve inches. And as a parent, you're always the same with respect to standard. Now, you represent a standard that doesn't change. But when you do, you talk with Susie. God will show you how to talk with Susie. But when you talk with Joe, there's a way God will give you to talk with Joe that's not inconsistent with mm-hmm. the standard. Mm-hmm. And God will enable you to do it. Um, the scripture talks about in Isaiah 4, 40, um, I believe, that the spirit of the Lord will, will keep you from getting overwhelmed and weary. Of course, every one of us has come to places where we're high. You know, <laughs> we're dealing with this condition over and over and over again. But the Spirit of the Lord will lift you up on eagle's wings so that you never leave the standard and that you can come back and deal with that situation. And eventually, when they are old, they'll not depart from you. <laughs> Absolutely. 
very real to us. You're not the same person. <laughs> you cannot have the same personality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to, to go back to something talking about, uh, you know, how do we train our children and things like that, um, I think it would be, it's most necessary to to mention the fact of praying for our kids mm-hmm. uh, and depending upon the Lord for uh, for these kinds of things. Um, you know, so often we come up with methods, mm-hmm. but as parents, we realize that sometimes we really haven't got a clue sure. what to do. And, uh, you know, this this is the thing where, uh, you know, I was talking to my son um, uh, just the other day, and he was saying how he remembers how uh, each night when they would go to sleep, all the kids, I would go in and lay hands on them and pray for them. And he said, you know, we have done that with our son um, ever since the ever since he was born. Every night we, we prayed for him. And I thought, boy, you know, what, a, what an example. Mm-hmm. You know, I had forgotten that I had done that with the kids. Mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, here it's being carried on with, uh, with my son and praying for our, our kids and, you know, hearing for, from God for them Amen. and getting revelation from God. It's like, <clears throat> you know, I've used this example before, but, you know, when Jesus left his disciples and went and returned to the Father, um, it was too soon. It was too early. These people were not ready for mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. But Jesus didn't trust them. Right. He trusted the Holy Spirit to be able to do what was was necessary. And, you know, that that in some ways, uh, you know, we need to be able to, to talk to the Lord but have the confidence in the Holy Spirit to do those things that uh, we absolutely don't know how to do, can't do, uh, couldn't convince the kids. Sure. Um, so, you know, that the issue of prayer is mighty important. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. And I think the other thing too is that you know, teaching our kids this this whole concept of sonship. Mm-hmm. You know that. That God made provision for us before he made us. That God knew we were going to make mistakes, that we were yeah. going to sin. Yeah. And yet, he has, his desire is for sons. You know, uh, I think that we've, you know, we've come at this thing the other way to say, you know, you're a sinner and you're going to hell. <laughs> um, you know, to some degree. <laughs> sure. You know, some, some people more than others. But I mean, mm-hmm. this, this, uh, this whole thing of, you know, uh, we've fallen short of the glory of God. Mm-hmm. You know, we, all men have sinned. And, you know, the emphasis is on that. But, you know, having our kids understand that God chose them before the foundation of the world. And mm-hmm. God is is crazy in love with them. Mm-hmm. You know, things of that nature are mm-hmm. vitally important as well. Amen. Sure. 